Hello everyone, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> I was supposed to start from good morning, okay. Let me do it again. <laughs> Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching me from. I'm actually extending a warm greeting and love from Ghana. My name is Dr. Simon Michael. I'm your real estate agent right here in Ghana. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about ownership structure um, of acquiring a property in Ghana, okay? And then... Uh, in the course of the video, you understand what I mean. So acquiring a property in Ghana, you need to be able to find out the ownership structure of that property, whether it's a freehold or it's a leasehold, okay? Commercial or private properties can either be leasehold or freehold, okay? And it's very, very key that you determine the ownership structure that is tied to the property that you want to acquire. Once you're able to do that, you'll be able to find out your responsibilities and rights regarding the ownership of the property. So in this video, we are going to be looking at freehold and leasehold, the difference of these two property ownership structures and the advantages that are tied to the two of them. So stick and stay, let's dive deeper into this. So there are primarily two types of ownership structure that there is. We have leasehold ownership structure and then we have freehold ownership structure as mentioned earlier. So now we're gonna talk about the freehold ownership structure first, okay? So freehold is a type of ownership structure that gives the individual the full ownership of the property and the land the property resides in for as long as the individual wants to retain the property, okay? With this kind of property, you with this kind of ownership structure i mean you have the full responsibility of maintaining the property and everything there is in it to make sure that uh, it doesn't go damaged and all and all of those and all of those things that comes with it and then one good thing about this type of ownership structure is this the owner does not have to deal with landlord because he's the landlord himself that's one two there is no lease payment or deadlines to actually worry about because you own the property the third one is that the freehold ownership structure actually is devoid of um, charging service charges and all of those charges that um, that you might actually think of because you own the land of course it's your land and then you can it, it's yours for as many years as you can possibly retain it so you have absolutely no charges or whatsoever to pay on it because it's solely yours the fourth is that the owner does not really have to worry about uh, post aspiring of his ownership and all of those things. And then the fifth one is that the owner of this property on freehold has the ability and the luxury to actually use his property to either acquire a loan to do whatever he wants to do because they own it. You understand what I mean? But you need to understand that freehold comes with its own responsibility of managing the, the property and then the land and making sure that um, they are all in good shape. Okay, now we're going to talk about the leasehold as well. So leasehold is a type of ownership that gives the individual um, ownership of a property for a specific number of agreed years from the freeholder. The freeholder of a property gives the land or the property to another person on a leasehold that okay this property is going to be yours for a specific number of years after which I'll come back for it or after which you have the chance to renew it for extra more years you understand so that's the leasehold okay and then you understand the freehold and then you understand the leasehold now let's look at the perks or the advantages of um, this leasehold ownership structure as well one of the perks is that you don't really have to worry about maintenance or uh, management of anything there is because um, when anything goes damaged, you get there, you have the right to call the owner to come fix it. And then one disadvantage or one thing that you also need to consider is that somebody who has purchased a property on a leasehold um, uh, has some charges. Take for instance, you're living in an estate community, in a gated community. Most of the gated communities are not necessarily on they are not on freehold. Most of them are on leasehold. You get to own them for a specific number of years. All right. So within the time that you're in the estate, there are some charges that you be you be you have to pay to that include the maintenance of the estate, the maintenance of the property, and some other charges that it comes with. And these charges are mostly monthly, quarterly. Sometimes it comes annually, and all of those things. But you need to bear in mind that uh, a leasehold. Uh, owner of a property actually has some charges to pay. What to consider when buying a leasehold property? 
okay first of all you need to check the number of years that is left on the lease and then second of all you need to check if the number of years left on the lease would impact your ability to actually give out um, to actually use the property to acquire a loan you understand so those are basically some of the things to check when applying when uh, trying to purchase a property that is on this hold okay I actually hope this video was able to educate you and actually to show you uh, the difference between a leasehold and a freehold ownership structure in Ghana. So I have a telegram channel. In that telegram channel, what I do is that there are some content and some things that I might not be able to put up on uh, YouTube for you to see. So I put them on the telegram channel. The link to the Telegram channel is actually in the description. One good thing about the Telegram channel is that if you're scared that somebody's going to know that you're in it, don't worry about that. Your privacy is actually guaranteed. Nobody gets to see that you're even part of the YouTube, um, the Telegram channel. All they see is as numbers are increasing or maybe all they get to see is the numbers, but nobody gets to see if you're there. So because you're the only one that gets to see and know that you're part of this channel. There's one good thing about it. So if you're thinking of privacy, don't worry, you're, the privacy is actually guaranteed. The link to the Telegram channel is actually in the description below. Just click on it and be a part of my Telegram channel because there I put out some deals that I will not be able to put up on YouTube just because of the way it is and all that. But trust me, these are great deals and I, and I go out of my way to look for great deals that are actually genuine litigation free and stress free. So you don't really get to worry about a, a whole lot of court issues and all that. So thank you so much for being a part of this family. Stay blessed. Thank you.